Hello, my darling ones. It's Robin here. So thank you for joining me today for your daily spirit message reading. This is for Thursday, November 2nd, or whenever you were guided to watch the reading. So on Thursdays, I've been using Oracle card decks, and this is the Sacred Forest, okay? So I usually shuffle the deck, but I accidentally caught a peek at the bottom of the deck, and the card just looks so amazing. Look at it. So I'm gonna take this one and try not to look at the next one because I feel like this is cheating, but it's so beautiful. This is the spirit guardian of winter. <laughs> As winter is fast approaching. Um, so we literally have snow in the forecast uh, for next week. So <sighs> it's happening. I'm not a fan of winter, but then the winters we have here are particularly brutal. So Anyway, you'll hear me complain about that over the season. You're welcome. So this says, um, this card indicates that it's time to pull back from people in situations that do not empower or support you. Let go of anything or anyone that drains you and protect yourself from less than positive influences. It's time to renew your energy. In incubate your dreams for the future. Make plans for tomorrow. But remember that this is a season of rest and recuperation. Winter is a time for replenishing your inner resources. Care for your body and your health. Mend and organize objects in your home. Repair what needs to be repaired in your life and step into the sacred silence to discover the answers within. A spurt of springtime energy is coming, but you absolutely must be prepared and must create foundations. Otherwise, it can be it can be seen it can seem, sorry, overwhelming and destabilizing. Spiritually, winter is a season of retreat and renewal. It's the time to be still and take stock of your life and your future. This spirit guardian of winter reminds us to stop the busyness of life and relax. Okay, so my advice is to do that every day and not wait for a particular season. Otherwise, you're going to push yourself too far mentally, physically, emotionally, and sometimes intellectually, okay? So this says the spirit guardian of winter says, enter the silent deep place within you. This is what meditation is for, in my opinion, or a bath, or just, you know, doing a shavasana. Um, any yoga series, like qigong, whatever relaxes you without any outside influence, like music, or TV, or people, neighbors, pets. Um, Repair your body, items, and relationships. Examine your life and make adjustments as needed. Watch your nocturnal dreams. Meditate. Look for messages from spirit. So that's one thing about winter. It's so quiet, you know, especially if you live in a region where there is snow because snow is an insulator and it absorbs sound. So to me, that's you know, one of the few blessings that I find in the winter season is the quiet. So I'm going to give you guys, because I don't know about you, but I get like alligator skin in the winter. So um, <clears throat> I've been using castor oil for health purposes lately. And then I read that it's really good for your skin if you drop some into your bath. So I actually mix mine, I pre-mix it, a little bit of castor oil with coconut oil, and then I leave it beside the bath. And I probably wouldn't want to get it into your hair. Um, you know, if you're getting into a shower, you might be able to get a liquid coconut. Um, but castor oil is very thick, but you could maybe create a spray or make a lotion or whatever. So if you guys have any winter health care tips, please go ahead and put them in the comments. And I'm just going to leave you guys with this absolutely stunning image as I bid you adieu for the day with much love and light. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.